hello hi everyone this is Ganesh and in this video I'm going to explain about how to find the class intervals if we know the class marks uh, only class marks sometimes in a problems class marks only they are giving and find the class intervals uh, that is those kind of questions they are giving so in this video I'm going to explain uh, two examples by that easily you can solve these kind of uh, problems and before going to the topic uh, just don't forget to subscribe this channel and please share this channel to your friends yes let us start yeah here is the problem just observe it a group frequency distribution table given below with class marks uh, class marks means i told you already those are the mid values of the class intervals uh, and in this question only we know the class marks and the frequencies given and find the class intervals these kind of problems how can we solve it only we have to find the class uh, intervals using class marks yes already we all know that class marks is the mid values of the class intervals and that implies class boundaries is always lies between every two successive class marks we all know that so all the boundaries are lies between the every two successive uh, class marks class marks is mid values yes for this kind of problem first step what we are going to find is just find the difference between any two successive class marks just we have to find the difference between any two successive class marks i am telling so for example uh, yes first we are going to find the uh, difference between any two successive this so the difference i am going to take it as h so h is equal to any two successive they said so the difference means 15 minus 7 how much 15 minus 7 is 8 we all know that not only 15 minus 7 even you can select 23 minus 23 minus 15 yes 23 minus 15 then even you'll get 8 even 31 minus 23 is equal to 8 so any two successive class marks you can take the difference is always equal that is 8 so after finding the difference just find the uh, h by 2 so whatever difference you got it that divide with the 2 that means 8 by 2 that equal to 4 so this thing you have to find it after finding the difference of any two successive uh, mid values then we have to divide that value with 2 so 4 is h by 2 value so after completion of these two steps after finding h by 2 then we are going to find the class uh, uh, intervals so class intervals means we have a lower boundary and upper boundary so how can we find the lower boundary and upper boundary as here uh, just we have to select uh, first for example here first class mark is 7 so 7 is always lies between uh, the lower boundary and upper boundary so that is lies between these two things lower boundary and upper boundary in between these two 7 is lies so to get lower boundary just uh, uh, subtract this 4 uh, from 7 if we subtract uh, 4 from 7 we will get uh, 3 so this is the lower boundary and uh, whatever uh, what is the upper boundary so add uh, 4 to this uh, uh, 7 so then we'll get uh, upper boundary so 3 to 11 is the first class interval so in this way we can find the all class intervals let us see how to write the uh, distribution table see here first uh, class marks uh, write the class marks first all the class marks we all know that already given in the problem that is 7 next 15 next 23 and after that uh, 31 and 39 and uh, 47 so these are the class uh, marks given mid values given so using these mid values we have to find the class intervals i told you already to get the lower boundary of the first class interval just uh, subtract 4 from 7 then uh, then uh, add 4 to the 7 so after that we'll get 7 minus 4 is 3 2 7 plus 4 is 11 so 3 to 11 is the first 
first class interval to get the second class interval again the same thing we have to do 15 minus 4 to uh, 15 plus 4 to get the upper boundary add that 4 and to get the lower boundary subtract that 4 so then we'll get 15 minus 4 is 11 and 15 plus 4 is 19 this is the second class interval so in this way we can find all the all the class interval all the class intervals so here we'll get uh, after uh, subtracting we'll get lower boundary is 19 again and again uh, if we add 4 to the 23 we'll get 27 and next one is if we subtract 4 from 31 we'll get 27 and uh, after that 31 uh, plus uh, 4 is uh, 35 and after that again lower boundary here 39 minus 4 is 35 and 39 plus 4 is uh, uh, 43 and again 47 minus 4 is 43 and uh, 47 plus 4 is uh, 51 these are the class intervals we got it already frequencies we all know that in the uh, uh, question given already 5 11 19 21 and 12 and 6 so this is the required required distribution table so in this table just we how how do we find how do we find the class intervals if we know the class marks so i'll go to the next problem one more problem so easily you can understand by that yes observe this uh, table observe this table in the following group frequency distribution table class marks are given uh, then the question is construct class intervals of the data that is exclusive class intervals they said so i, I already explained what are exclusive and inclusive in the previous videos you can watch those videos and uh, here you see by ob observing the uh, given uh, uh, data here what we are going to find i told you first we have to find the hh is what the difference of any two successive class marks class marks means mid values mid values so h is equal to 22 minus 10 that is equal to 12 so 12 we got it after that find h by 2 value so h we got it 12 by 2 is equal to 2 ones are 2 six are so h by 2 is 6 by using this 6 we can find easily the uh, class marks so here i prepared a, a distribution table let us see how do we find the first class interval before that just write the class marks here all the class marks given already first one is 10 second one is 20 uh, 2 and third one is 34 uh, fourth one 46 uh, and 58 uh, and uh, 70 so these are the mid values class uh, class marks uh, so after uh, after knowing the class marks so how do we find the class intervals here already we got h by 2 is 6 uh, so i told you first uh, 10 minus 6 uh, to get the lower boundary subtract it and to get the upper boundary 10 plus 6 10 plus 6 that is equal to that equal to what uh, 10 minus uh, 6 is 4 to 10 plus 6 is 16 so again this is the first class interval 4 to 16 and to get the another one again 22 minus uh, 6 and here 22 plus 6 so we'll get 16 to 16 to uh, 20 8 22 plus 6 because 22 minus 6 is 16 22 plus 6 is uh, 28 i hope you understand and remaining all i'll write it simply without uh, subtracting and adding directly i'll write it 34 uh, uh, minus 6 uh, how much 28 and 34 plus 6 uh, that is 30 uh, 38 uh, here 34 plus 6 sorry 34 plus 6 that is uh, 40 then again for uh, 46 minus uh, 6 is 40 and 46 uh, plus 6 is 52 and then this is 52 and this is 58 uh, plus uh, 6 is equal to 60 uh, of uh, sorry 64 and here again 64 and 60 uh, 70 plus 6 is 76 in this way we can uh, find the all interval class intervals and frequencies already given 6 14 and 20 and 21 and 9 and 9 and 
5. So this is the required class intervals. These are the required class intervals. Uh, by using, uh, we can find this class interval using class marks. Uh, friend, yes, I hope you understand well how to find the uh, class intervals uh, if they are giving class marks. Class marks means mid values. Uh, I hope you understand well. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel and share uh, these videos to your friends. And thank you very much to all of you.